All right, hello everyone. Just want to share some thoughts and also a word I received this morning. So my thoughts are this. I had a friend who asked me if I was interested in attending a prophecy conference put on by Bethel Church. And that's Bill Johnson and, uh, you know, the church where Jesus culture comes from. And I think I've shared before in previous videos, I don't have much interest in attending a lot of conferences and, you know, things like that put on by, you know, man, I guess I should say. Again, I'm very leery of listening to the philosophies of man or even reading books that are written about the Bible. Um, I have a Bible and I have the Lord and I seek him for discernment. And I just, again, I say, and we all need to do this, is whenever we listen to someone or hear a preacher or whatever, we need to be like the Brians and search the scriptures to make sure what they're saying aligns with the Lord's word. And we need to pray and seek the Lord for discernment. And I will say this, so Bethel Church, I've watched several different things about um, they could be in the grave soaking, which is like soaking up the anointing of dead saints. I haven't found that in the Bible. Um, and just some other really questionable sort of things. Um, Hillsong Church, same deal. Um, I watched a video of of someone at a concert and there was a girl or a woman she was going to sing and she was wearing a suit and she says yeah i'm wearing a suit today because because i have some business to do with jesus and i just thought that was sort of a weird thing to say i mean i i haven't investigated them too much and i do listen to some of the music from these different mega churches but i uh you know, I'm just very careful on who I who I follow and who I listen to. I just want to follow the Lord and read his word. Also, Kenneth Copeland, I saw a video of him. He like cut his hand and had another parishioner cut their hand and they dripped the blood into a glass. And I don't know if it was water or what, but Kenneth Copeland drank it and then said they had some type of blood covenant or something. And I just, I just... You know, I'm just very leery of that, and I'm very leery of people who, um, you know, accept all these ties and money, and, you know, it's just very questionable whether they're out for personal gain or out to bring people to the Lord. So I don't want money. I don't ask for money. I don't, you know, the Lord is just, it's evident in my life that his promises are true, and I'm just trying to do the best I can to do the Lord's will, and He's merciful when I mess up. I know that. And uh, I'm just hoping to be counted worthy to escape all these things and be sanctified till the day of his coming. So um, one more thing I'll say is I saw a guy, he said, oh, people need to read the Bible and seek the Lord for discernment. And then went on to quote all these things that aren't even in the Bible. It was all his words, not the Bible's words. So when we hear somebody doing a lot of talking, and they're not quoting the Bible, you know, we should uh, just be pretty leery of all that. So, um, and I have yet anyone, not one person, you know, when they want to come against the pre-tribulation rapture, um, when I post all these verses that I post on this page, nobody argues, nobody comes back. It's the end of the argument. It's done. I never hear from them again. It's, it's, you know, just stand on the word of the Lord. It's there. All right, anyway. <laughs> okay, this is the word. The Lord thy God is sovereign. It is I who creates calamity and I who gives mercy. I rebuke and chasten the unrighteous and tear down the towers of the wicked. For I am the Lord. Turn to your God, my children, lest you wither away as the chaff. Turn and your God shall hearken unto you. He who is, is coming. Turn to him unto righteousness and glory, and he will forgive your whoredoms. You will not receive your just punishment, but mercy will be bestowed upon those who repent, turning from wickedness. Be as wise, not following the follies of man, but following the true and living God, 
who in him is found the path to redemption. The wicked shall shudder, their loins displaced, their bowels removed about them. They shall be as withering heaps of dung which dry and crack are brittle. They shall be cast away and forgotten of he who created them. They shall die in their iniquity. But my children shall fear not and shall be as precious stones unto me. I will keep them close and hide them in my safe place until the storm passes and in due season, which is due. I shall lift them up and place them on high for it is written and these things shall surely come to pass as my word stands and so has stood. Come, come my children, for I usher in my flock, enter into my storehouse for it is your dwelling place. All right, everyone. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.